announced uh, last week yeah. to great joy across great the joy, internet yeah. uh, that the 13th Doctor is yeah. going to be uh, Jodie Whittaker, yeah. who I know from, uh, she was in Venus with Peter O'Toole. Mm. I loved her in that movie. She was in Attack the Block. She was in uh, Broadchurch. Yeah. Um, I'm telling you guys what you yeah. already yeah. know. Did you, you were leaving, were you involved in that? Were you like, uh, by the way, before I leave, make the next doctor a lady? No, and I wasn't. Uh, I, uh, I knew uh, Chris's plan uh, from a long time ago, yeah. uh, but I wasn't involved in his choice. In fact, I didn't know who he'd chosen until the Friday before the announcement, and I, because I didn't want to know before Peter knew. Uh, the rule was, you have to tell Peter first, then you tell me, uh, because it's, it's Peter's job, not right. mine. Um, so, but I think, I think she's a, a wonderful choice. And I think what's more wonderful is despite a lot of people in the press claiming there's been some big backlash among Doctor Who fans, there hasn't. No. Doctor Who fans have not only welcomed the idea of Jodie Whittaker playing the Doctor, they don't even go around saying, gosh, a woman Doctor Who. They just say one of the best actors of their generation is taking on Doctor Who again. Mm -hmm. Isn't that brilliant? That's what they've said. There has been no backlash except for one horrible spotty fat man in his basement typing. And I apologize for uh, that yeah. already, so get off my back. <laughs> but she is going to be sensational. She's been she I spoke to her last week. And she's Did you? Is there yeah. a, a who conversation? A, a, a well, it's so, you know, it's great because there are, uh, there are only a very few of us who have actually played this role, and it's unique. And the pressures of it are unique, and the stresses and the joys of it are unique. So uh, I hope we're going to be able to stay in touch. And I'm not, I mean, David Tennant and Matt Smith have been fabulous to me. They've been such a great, because some days things can become overpowering. And you say, who can I talk to about this? Who understands it? And those guys do. So I hope we'll be able to do that with Jody too. But can I just say that it was Stephen who really uh, laid the ground uh, for this gender transformation. In, uh, we have a, a, an evil character called the Master, who he transformed into Missy the Mistress, played uh, beautifully by Michelle Gomez. So, so Stephen has, has done all this already. Uh, so the idea of a gender switch really comes from Stephen.